Do you know it says Zio and Arizo's first day of school today? Yes, it's their first day of school. Wake up, come on. It's your first day of school. You woke up early for your first day of school. I woke up at 5.45, but then went back to bed. It was like 10 till I fell asleep. Oh, it was all. I was trying to just sleep but I couldn't. Okay, tomorrow night you can sleep in my bedroom, okay? Come on, let's get up. Go get dressed and I'll come do your hair, okay? We're gonna have sausages for breakfast. Yummy. Amaya, put these rats away and wash these dishes. Hurry up, please. Hmm? Let me see your teeth. Go brush your teeth again. <laughs> Why? Because I said so. I want you to teach me sparkling when the first day of school. I'm brushing out all your curls, but then I'm gonna try to curl it back up, okay? They're just gonna get curly by the time we get there, so we're gonna bike. Do you wanna wear it down or do you wanna put it up in a ponytail? Up in a ponytail. Two ponytails? When Kylie was in the third grade, she had almost graduated from cleaning the bathrooms. And you just get that one. Your off right, and you're just getting started, so you need to start cleaning. That's gonna be your morning chore. You're gonna start cleaning your bathroom, your sink, your toilet, I'm not your mirrors. Good at cleaning your exactly. That's why you're gonna do it. If you were good, you wouldn't have to do it. That's exactly the point. And then you're gonna get good, and then you're gonna graduate, and then I'll give the job to Ajani. That's how I know you didn't wash your face. Amaya, are you making the grits? Girl, you going to school, boo boo? You going to school? This is fun. Okay. Is for me? Yeah, because we're all going to be out of the house. Yeah. Happy, happy, Lolly. Azayo, do you want to just get a warm up, a sandwich? Oh, you're going to make grits? But we're taking them, we're going to be on the back of the theme. It's what? Papa's bike. Oh, I thought we were taking a car. No. Okay, uh, oh, well, just hot. Scarf eat as quick as you can and let's get some juice boxes. No, yes, he can have grits because he's going to be sitting in the sidecar. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Let me get you a little Say first day of school. First day okay. of school. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. You ready for this, Joe? Yep. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm more than ready. So Kylie's gonna go to cross country practice and everybody else is gonna ride our bikes to Asylum and Arizona School. Joe got his sidecar. So what's your favorite thing about the sidecar? Mine. I always thought sidecars look cool. Why don't you Why are you sitting your grits right there? All right, guys, let's take a seat. Africa! That's fun. Wow. Yeah. And then there's my key. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Yep. Here. Grits, grits, grits. That's easy, bro. Sit down, baby. Mommy, I need some. I just love it. Okay, eat your grits. You're not eating that. You're going to eat these grits. You hear me? Yeah, I'm it. All right, bye, Kai Kai. Have fun. You're wearing my shoes. Be safe. Oh, Kylie. Oh, Kylie, be safe. Safe, safe. Who's ready? Daddy. Here we go. First day of school. So exciting. So we're only about two miles away from the school. 13 minutes. We'll see how long it takes us to get here on an electric bike. It's 7.45. Nice and easy and slow. 
flow. Drop off of the year. This is great that they're going to school. Aaron's just going to have a lot of fun. I really hope Azayo will um, assimilate well into her new school. She looked very timid. Yeah, the school definitely uh, emphasized community in everything that they said that they were going to do, and mm -hmm. they find ways to include everyone. All right, well, no reason to stay here around and talk to the teachers. Let's go. <laughs> So it is the first day of school and we replaced our minivan with one, two, three people can fit here. One, two, three people can fit here. Amaya rides her bike and Akari rides her bike, but she's not here right now. And that fits nine people. This is our new minivan. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. For what? For our new minivan. So Joe has replaced our minivan with a fleet. You need, we should give a name to this. Like, you know how it's like the Honda Odyssey? We gotta yeah. give it a name. So these, this combination of all of these bikes fits our whole family. Besides Akari, Akari has one of these too. So there should be one more right here. This fits all nine people. So Maya, Akali, and then me and Azaya are on the back of here. The baby and Audrey are inside of here. And Ajay rides in the sidecar. Yeah, Arizona's on the back of Appa. But basically it all, it fits us all though. Yeah. And only four people need to be riding. If we could all like ride together as a family in the morning and drop all the kids off at school, I would love that, you know? Yeah. Like we could do it separately, but I just want to do it as a family. Our kids are young, you know? Yeah. At, at some point, Amaya in two years, she's going to be gone. She's going to be an adult. Like okay. as a family, our, our kids to remember as a family, we got dropped off, you know, at school. Because I remember when I was younger, it wasn't like that. We could create this into something. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't have to be be at the dinner table at 6 p.m. Maybe it could look different. Maybe this could be our new dinner table. I mean, they're eating grits I in mean, the thing. We need a trash can in these things. They're making a mess. Put it back here. A trash can, yeah. Oh yeah, a trash can would fit perfectly in here. Yeah, I we, feel it. I feel it in my bones. We, we're gonna need to buy a lot of tires. But if we go other places, maybe you just wanna have another trailer on your bike. It's easier. Yeah. Sometimes this is a little bit cumbersome mm. because of how wide it is. Yeah, especially if we wanna have another baby. One. Mm. No, no, no. Why, why are you saying no? You're not even gonna be here. Are you serious? We're gonna lose you to, to I'm gonna um, be gone, college. And then I'm gonna have a sister I don't even know about. I'm gonna put back and be like, who's this? You said sister? Yes. I want a brother. No. Why'd you say sister? Because it's gonna be another sister. Sister and brother. Twinsies. Nope. No, no, no! If we ended up having twins, that would be like a whole, like the twins would be like, all. Oh, it would be too much. They would be like special kids. Exactly. <laughs> I thought he's already the only boy. You want a brother? No, I want another no, no sister. sister. Joe, the baby stuck, got grit stuck in her buckle and she's eating them out her buckle. Mom. Baby, where are your grits at? Our car you got them? <laughs> Where are your grits, boo boo? Where are they at? I want to see what you look like not being in a car seat. Okay. How was school, Zion? Good. Was it? Did you make friends? Yeah. Did you talk to anyone? Huh? Yes. Yeah. I want to know how the first day of school was. It was fun. But, uh, but, but. But this is my Chromebook got in anyway. Smoothie, pick out a smoothie. Ooh, are these muffins? Blueberry vegan muffins, anyone? You look so funny drinking your smoothie. Trying to suck the mess out of that smoothie. What grade are you in? The good guess. Were you the shortest person in your class? Tallest? <clears throat> Middleest? Middle? What about you? Is that middle? Okay, good. What did you learn about school, Arizona? 
that there's different ways you can sit on the chair. There's a regular way. There's a way that you can sit on top of the like, you know, the way that you lean on, you can sit there or you can stand up. Wow, you can sit in all different ways in your classroom? Um, can you do that too? Mm -mm. <laughs> we got you this. Okay. Because you feel birthday. sick. Yeah, happy birthday. Just run down. Yeah, flu like sit. You got, what are your symptoms? Uh, body ache. Mm hmm. What else? Uh, sore throat. Uh huh. Fatigue. Fatigue, yeah. Yeah. Got a little headache. Chills, maybe. Chills? Head headache, yeah. Headache? Okay, well, look what I got for you. Yeah. Flu like symptoms, body ache, headache, fever, chills, and fatigue. I still you low cold key numb. Yeah. Non drowsy. Yes. It's basically you gotta figure out liver. How to actually, say this, Lena. <laughs> I just call it osteum. It says anas baractus. Uh, we looked that up. We probably say some type of liver. If you keep taking this um, every six hours, three times a day, or more, as needed. And what's your assignment, Arizo? Mm -hmm. That's to create a presentation that's all about her name. So, Arizo, when Ari when I got pregnant with Arizo, I had a friend and his name was Ben. And he was my very best friend at the time. I was getting my master's degree in applied statistics. And he lived in Arizona. So, that's why I named her Arizona. <laughs> it's part of her middle name. Actually, I had named her something else first, but then I changed it because I announced it on Facebook and someone who I didn't really care for too much liked that name. So I had oh. first named you Arrow. Oh, that's how you trying to choose a baby. Yes, I first named you Arrow, but then I was like, you know what? This person likes your name, so I'm going to change it to something that people won't think is so cool. So I changed it to Arizona. And your middle name But that's is, still cool. It is cool. It became me coolest. You guys' great-grandmother, my mom's mom. She died on Anna's birthday. Yes. Why are you smiling, Ashnai? <laughs> but just a couple years beforehand. Not like the same day day. Not the same year. So then your, her name was, what do you think her name was, Arazo? Arazo. <laughs> no, her name was your middle name. But it was Eileen. So that's where you get your middle name from. And Eileen is from your great grandmother. And you were born on the same exact well, day. Not yes. What was Arizona's legal middle name? What is her legal middle name? Well, you made it Eileen. I did not name Arizona in the hospital. I didn't legally name her anything. I left the hospital and she didn't have a name. Just like everyone else. So you have to legally name them. No, you don't have to legally name them before they go to the house. I left the hospital, she didn't have a name, and then I named her in my brain and announced it, but then after I announced it, I didn't want it to be anymore, so I, when I went to go get her birth certificate, and actually named her. So that is your name. That's the history of your name. Erizo, can you remember that? Mm-hmm. Ma. So, um, is there anything else about your name that's interesting? What's your middle name? Young one -y. No. Yes. It's not funny. Your middle name is Young One. Yes. It's not Young One -y. Yes, it Mommy, is. Your first name is Ajudai. No, and your middle name is Young One. No, it, it, it is. Ajudai. Is. Mommy, what's my middle it name? It is Young One. Su Young. That's mm -hmm. your middle name. Yes, your middle name is your Korean no. name. Mm -hmm. You want to go meet, go get your birth certificate and show you that's what it says? No. How young come one Ajudai's middle name is in her Korean name? Because her her Korean name is Arazo, and that's her first name. No, Arazo. Arazo. And Arazo doesn't actually doesn't actually have a real Korean name. She has like her own name turned into a Korean name, which is a real Korean name. But you know what I mean. It's Roma. It's I don't know what you call it. So she has this project due on Friday, so she needs to do it. What about you, Azale? I don't have any homework. Azale, that's a lie. 
Go bring me your papers now. Don't come over here talking about you don't have no homework. Go bring them papers. You got something to sign. You got something. You're going to bring them to me now. Do you have I a don't play. Too? And if you yeah. don't have homework, I'm going to sign you homework. My Get teacher up. said we don't have homework. She's giving us homework tomorrow. All right, I'm giving you homework today then.